wants had a girl Or should I say She once had me She showed me her room Isn't it good Norwegian wood Beatles fans, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here to show you how to play Norwegian wood today. Really simple tune that really only has two basic parts. Uh, um, we're breaking all these bits and pieces down to something that we can play on solo guitar, on acoustic guitar. Now, the good news is, is that the verses only have open chords. The not as good news is that the, that the uh, chorus has a couple of bar chords. But don't worry about that, because I got you covered for that, all right? Here on YouTube, type in Your Guitar Sage bar chords, and let's finally learn those bar chords, okay? I will show you how to do it. Everybody has problems with bar chords at first. Everybody has problems with guitar at first. Did you know that? Oh, it's a mystery. Some people know that. I'd say half and half know that. Some people think that there's like some sort of talent needed or something, uh, and that we can just throw practice out the window. Nope. Here we go. There's my preaching. So the verse goes like this. You're basically just holding an E chord. What am I doing with my thumb there? Basically, I'm muting that low E string so I can get this little walk, this E B walk, which is very classic for like country western type of style. Uh, we're bouncing back and forth between the one and the five of the chord. You don't have to know what that means. It's okay if you don't. But basically, in order to do that and get our strum on, we just take our thumb and mute that E string when we don't want to hear it. So it looks like this. It gives that really cool sound there. Now I'm all, actually also aiming for those strings, but with this technique, if you mess up a little bit, it's not that big of a deal. It's still gonna sound pretty darn good, okay? So uh, basically we've got, we do that twice, and then we go to the D, E part. So it's gonna go like this. I once had a girl, or should I say, she wanted me. She once had me, right? So we got uh, E, B in the bass, E, B in the bass, E, D, E. And there we're act just changing chords, E, D, E, okay? And when we play that D chord, make sure your thumb hangs over the net and mutes that, that low E string because we don't want that E string to sound on our D chord or it sound like this. And that doesn't really sound the best. So, here's the verse. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. She showed me her room, isn't it good, Norwegian wood. Okay, so that's the verses every single time, all right? Now, chorus, it's pretty easy. It goes, we're going we're gonna to go to E minor now. So it's going to go, um, let's see, we're going to do this for four measures and then four measures of A. So it's like... One, two, oh, one, two, three. This is in, actually in, th in uh, three, so it'd be one, two, three, 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 and then we have F sharp minor seven. Okay. F sharp minor seven. And then a B. So you know the E and the A, right, from the nine essential chords that I'm talking about all the time in the free course that I'm giving you that's in the link below, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. It's a free course, top 30 lessons I teach all my students. It's the first 30 lessons I teach you. If you came to spend a thousand bucks with me here in Nashville, but I'm giving it to you for free, <gasps> save that money and go buy a Les Paul. You're welcome. All right, so um, links below for that, all right? And the chords... Uh, these open chords are in those nine essential chords that I talk about that if you know those chords you can play millions of songs uh, a thousand of them here I teach on YouTube so uh, here we go so we got that E minor so this is the um, this this would be the chorus then Now 
Now the B chord you can play however you want. You can play it up here, you can play it down here. Um, the F, F sharp minor seven you can play however you want. You can play this version, the bar chord version, or you can play the jazz version, which is when you take your second finger and play that F sharp, and you mute the fifth string and you bar strings three, uh, two, three, and four with your third finger like that. You can even hit that high E string. You can do one, two, three, four. And so basically everything's on the second string. Just mute that fifth string. So it's like that. If you play that B chord, make sure that the low E is muted. If it's not, it'll sound like this. I don't know what chord that is. That's a, a B with an E in the bass. Yeah, B with an E in the bass. It's not the worst in the world, but it won't sound good in this tune. Okay, so. Um, so the lyrics are gonna go. Um, she asked me to say it. She told me to sit and wear. So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a Something like that. I don't know the lyrics. Don't worry about the lyrics. Okay. So you got E minor, A, E minor, F sharp minor seven. B. All right. Now, let's get to the hard part. Okay. I'm joking. That's the whole tune. What? Yes, that's the, the whole tune. There's two parts to this. Okay. The hard part is those bar chords, but I promise you, you can get them. I've taught thousands and thousands of one on one lessons for years, for decades now, and I've never seen someone not be able to bar, play a bar chord or anything else, do anything they want on the guitar. Once they knew what to do, I can help you with that. And once they practiced, that's all you, okay? So I'm saying this to you because anything that you want to do on the guitar, you can do. I'm not just saying that. I've taught thousands and thousands of lessons and I've never seen this not true. I've seen people with tons of talent come in and not practice and suck. And I've seen people with no talent practice and become amazing. You do the math, okay? Argue amongst yourselves down below in the comments because I'm sure there's differing opinions on that, but I know I'm right, okay? All right, so um, unless the thousands of lessons that I've seen were just luck, could be, right? Okay, so my friends, I wanna hear, I wanna help you in any way that I can. Leave those comments below. Thumbs up this, would you? Subscribe. I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and Facechat and Snapbook and all those places where the kids hang out and I do all sorts of giveaways and uh, all sorts of fun stuff. So join me there, yourguitarstage.com slash live if you wanna check me out live and interact with me and ask me questions and I tell you how to do stuff and I give away tons Oh, literally thousands of dollars worth of gear, guitars, uh, amps, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, classical guitars, um, pedals, all sorts of really fun stuff. That's at yourguitarstage.com slash live to sign up for my, my uh, broadcasts. Um, and what else? And the free course that's below. Please let me know how I can help, friends. I really am intently uh, aware of how difficult guitar can be if you don't have someone to help navigate you. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to navigate and to help you. All right, so please let me know how I can help. Uh, as always, my friends, be kind to all beings. Don't trust that man. He's a liar. You gotta question him. You know who the man is. And I'd like to know who you think the man is. Leave those comments below. And uh, practice your guitar, that's it. See you in the next video. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. She showed me